Unconscious bias is often spoken about in reference to gender diversity discussions. However, our unconscious bias certainly isn't limited to this. It extends across everything that we do. So as we transition back to the workplace, it's important to be aware of it and how this can impact your decision making, such as the beliefs about productivity and working from home. So many still believe that their team members can't be as productive as they are in the office when they're working from home. So it's time to challenge that belief. Is it actually true and what is your evidence? Or is this a long held belief based on a familiar way of working? Because stats have actually shown that people are 20% more productive when working from home. Of course, this is in general. Uh, however, people aren't promoted as quickly when they're working from home. So this can come back to the fact that they're, they're not in the direct line of sight of their leaders and what their leaders' beliefs are around that. So we really need to challenge our long held beliefs around working and what the traditional way of working looks like now as things have certainly changed along with people's priorities. The workplace won't return to what it was pre-COVID. So in thinking about all of that, what do you need to be more open to, to enable your team to be more flexible and your workplace to be to transition in a way that is engaging and empowering as we move forward into this next phase of what I'm calling workplace revival.